Hi, Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. This is your official notification that yes, it is Friday, it is May 8th, and happy Friday to all of you. Uh, this is the, the capstone of Business Spirit Week with the Longmont Chamber. This is Feel Good Friday, and do we have some good feels for you. It is going to be such a fun day, I'm super excited. So come on in here, join me, say hello, because I am a people person and I've been away from people from far too long. Don't turn me into a crazy cat lady. Please uh, <laughs> join me, say hello. Put your, put your heralding in the comments. I would appreciate it. Um, so yes, it is, it is Friday and we have some, some fun things dished up for you guys. Um, this Spirit Week has been really fun for us. We love kind of shining some spotlights on amazing members of this community and our local businesses through this Spirit Week. We've had Mindfulness Monday, Tunes and Art Tuesday. Um, we've got We Shop Wednesdays, Thankful Thursday, and then of course, my personal favorite, Feel Good Friday. And this is all to support the fact that Longmont is still open for business. Hi, Kathy, thanks for joining us. Um, Longmont's open for business, and we know that a lot of things are changing as we move into the uh, safer at home order, which starts effective in Boulder County tomorrow. And some businesses in this community have worked really, really hard um, over recent months, and we just want to showcase that because, yes, there's a lot of uncertainty right now, but what is amazing to me and still very, very certain is how amazing my long monsters are. Am I right? amazing. Um, Longmont has really risen to the occasion right now in supporting their neighbors, their local businesses, and this is just a way to, you know, celebrate that. So um, what we have slated today <clears throat> is some sit-down time with the ladies of Fox Feather, um, and we are also going to give away a $50 gift card later, so stay tuned, my friends. You have to be here in order to win that. Yes, I'm baiting you. Hook, line, sinker. Great. Um, well, I say let's let's get the fun. Let's get the fun of going. Let's get some. Let's, do you guys want to see Fox Feather? Yes. You want to hang out with them? I do. Let's get them, Carly and Laura. Let's hit them up. Let's get them to join me. Here they are. Oh, the wave. Yes. Yes. Is it windy? Are we just dancing? Oh, it's so good. They've probably been doing this for ten minutes. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> You guys are like, our screen's dark. We have to dance. We have to be ready for the moment. The moment. Ever yeah. since the intro music started, we've been just We did a little jamming. bit of this. Yeah. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. This. Oh, good. Oh, oh. Not, too Not too close. Not too close. Only a six foot row. There we go. So when I ask you guys, you know, how have you been guys keeping yourself entertained? The answer is clear. You just need a little bit of a beat and go from there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Cool. Excellent. The rules of life. Just give me a beat. I'll be fine. <laughs> that is fantastic. So, um, Carly, Laura, how how are you guys doing? How are you guys been doing during quarantine? 
oh, pretty good. You know, I mean, considering it's, it's a little different, a little weird, but, um, but getting through it and uh, feeling, I mean, feeling fortunate to be here in Longmont where we feel a lot of community around us and um, that's really nice. And yeah, yeah, so far it's been, it's been okay. Yeah. <laughs> when was your guys last in-person show um oscar blues yeah oscar blues and lions that was m march 26th no 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 it was before that it was like earlier in the month it was like march 7th i think oh yeah it was sometime in march uh, yeah march. <laughs> time what are dates what are numbers what's time we don't know fielded number variety right. yeah um, it was yeah. definitely Oscar Blues Lions sometime in March, um, mm -hmm. and you know we had didn't know that that would be kind of our we our last no show for a while with the band, and yeah, and it was right. it was a great show, so yeah, good. Fun, so just ride that wave. Have you guys done any like Facebook Live concerts or anything like that in the? We did a uh, um, we did a stream for the cause with left hand right at the beginning of all of this. So before a yeah. lot of regulations had, put, had been put into place, um, mm -hmm. and we got to work with um, the Saint Brain uh, Event Center and left hand, and they put on a really cool uh, stream for the cause, uh, just with the duo, not with the band. But um, all those proceeds went to um, helping restaurant workers that had that had oh. lost their jobs or were about to. And yeah. So, um, we did that, and then um that's i mean yeah that's the only live stream show we've done yeah, yeah. you've been featured on the hippie happy hour <laughs> yeah <That's true. laughs> yeah great but, yeah what was that laura um well my my lovely boyfriend does a um uh, a live stream concert every friday who actually we should we should mention that he helps with the jingle as well as, as well as carly's partner um mm -hmm. he does a live stream concert and every week he picks a um uh, a musician from the community who's been struggling um, due to the loss of gigs and everything. And so just ask for people to send some money their way. And actually today, um, Carly was it the, was, it was was me. the yeah, was Sorry. the guest of honor. So uh, he plays for like an hour show. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I like to pop in and, and, yeah. and play a song or two. It's a pretty cool thing. He usually, um, you know, features some sort of form of local food or uh you know from a re from a local restaurant and um something like that to sort of promote just you know promote promote our local community yeah. it's a pretty cool little thing that so, happens every mm -hmm. friday at noon check out free driving on uh -huh. facebook free driving cool that's and that was something that's been going since long before covid that's just been an established started what five weeks ago it St started okay. with the covid thing so yeah okay. it, it was um i guess this is yeah the fifth week and um yeah so picks picks a member of the community that's been um yeah that's been hit with this um mm -hmm. particularly like a musician and actually oh, like yeah. Yeah, someone from texas so just um you yeah, know just asking general, for yeah. friends and in general just to kind of help out and yeah yeah give a yeah. shout to a local restaurant and as well Pretty yeah cool. the, so yeah free the and hospitality has just been oh it's it's terrible it's like it literally dried up overnight i mean no one no one can plan no. for that so it but it is amazing i mean i've seen so many people try to to pay it forward and find ways to get people because we we've gotten calls a lot at the chamber of people calling saying like I got my stimulus check, I don't need it. What's the best way way for me to get that to people that do need it? Right. Um, and I've I've seen a lot of a lot of that in Longmont, and it's just so encouraging to see people try to band together and support their their neighbors and their friends. And those are my cats wiggling the curtain. It's apparently racetrack hour. I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> the liberties that are taken in this house. It's um, like we. You think the rule of law would be strong since we've been home for eight years, <laughs> but no, no, they're just like get away what do I, so, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is I don't no know what the pets are gonna do. What are they gonna do after this? I know. I the know. cats are gonna be fine. The dogs, the dogs are gonna need like long-term medication because the cats uh -huh. are really finally in my palace to myself. The dogs are gonna be a mess. Oh, yeah. pee all over the house it's going to be a terrible time um 
Well, you guys already mentioned it, but this is something very near and dear to my heart after this week was the release of the jingle. You guys <laughs> mentioned it. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the program before you guys perform live. Um, but this this jingle that we recruited you guys for is um, in one of those efforts to kind of lift up the community members and just extend the opportunity for people that can support businesses during this time. I mean, every business is affected by this. And the Longmont Chamber has over 780 members, most of which, like 80, 90 percent of them are small, family owned and operated businesses. And those are normally very narrow margin businesses and the chamber's been working to try and connect all of those resources for businesses whether it's information about the the loans or unemployment for their employees and there's so much information out there that having an entity that's working on that constantly for businesses was so important and so we opened up this member helping member fund to help keep businesses plugged into those resources and what's a more fun way to talk about that than in song I can't think of a way, and I also am not a great singer. So we recruited professionals uh, to write us a little, a little jingle, a little ditty about members helping members. And I'm probably gonna cry, and you guys can sing it now for the adoring fans. <laughs> All right. Yes, we're very happy to bring this little jingle to you. Um, <clears throat> also, is this? Mm -hmm. I said also does this block anybody? <laughs> um all right, yeah, we were we were we were stoked to to uh be asked to write this little thing and and here it goes. We had a great time doing it, so members helping members is away. Resources provided every day. The Longmont family is here to stay. Members helping members. Members helping members is a must. Longmont is the city you can trust. We'll win it with you, boom or bust. Members helping members. That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good, guys. Gives me goosebumps <laughs> every time. I think my, my favorite line in that is the with you, boomer bust. I feel, I mean, Longmont was named the, the boom town last year, okay. you know, and, and that didn't happen overnight. And that's also not going to be, you know, lost overnight either. So while this feels like this really low period, it's like we, if we stick together, we're going to get through the bust part too. And I, that was, when that line hit, I lost it. Oh. Lost it. I was like, the end of 2019, we were a boom town. We're going to make it through. Yeah, this is Karen in full, full on the, mu the emotion of music, man. It hits you right there. Um, so I think you guys have totally an album of jingles in your future. Because yeah, we've found our new calling. Mm -hmm. For sure. Everyone that was watching that is going to be singing it all weekend. Uh, yeah. All weekend. So for those of you that need to get your fix later this weekend, that is on the Chamber Facebook page. You can listen to that jingle on loop. It is the new baby shark, I tell you. That is <laughs> for <laughs> sure. Yeah. Baby shark. Baby shark members helping members. So yeah. good. <laughs> so good. So, um, how long have you two known each other? Oh, a long time. Uh, what, 2004? Three? Three? Uh, 2004. 2004. Yeah. So, 16 years. Mm -hmm. Longer. I mean, not in a bad way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with your sisters. Like yeah. yeah. I mean, it just feels like forever, you know, but not but, in a nice way. But, you know, way. that's a long time. It is a long time. So yeah, that's a really long time. It is time. a long time. It's a decade and a half. So yeah. 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 Uh -huh. It's a decade and a half. Plus. Yeah. Especially when you go from like, um, we met senior year of high school. So when you go through like the high school part, through the college, through the post college, through now we're in and our thirties. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of different phases. So it does feel like a long time, but mm -hmm. yeah. um, we went through a lot of 
different phases, phases together. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And if you yeah. can still like each other after all of those phases, like I don't like who I was in high school, you know, you're like, <laughs> what, is that me? Like what? When you like read things that you wrote and like Facebook was a thing. And so you see these things pop up from high school and you're like, no, no, yeah. that, no, that wasn't me. That, yeah. Who's Why did my memory say from, from 12 years ago, say Carly is, oh, well. You know, like uh -huh. what? Yeah. <laughs> Carly is, everyone has a hard day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so profound. So, yeah. Yeah, it does. It takes a lot to, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but it's been easy. You're nice. Yeah, you're nice. Yeah. And you're fun. Yeah. She's we have fun. a lot of fun together. So, we yeah. have to have some things in common. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for sure. Well, I thought it would be fun if we kind of put your guys' 16 years of knowledge to the test. And I think the the viewers present are gonna get a hoot out of this. And I'm personally very excited for some of the answers. So we're gonna do a friendship quiz. Ah, okay. What is more 2004 than a friendship quiz? I don't know. So yeah, warm up, limber up. I will... Uh, state a question and you two will point at the person that you think it applies to the most all right nice okay. nice eagle arms that i you must i don't i yeah. can't oh there's the cats oh no no get in away <laughs> the eagles they brought the eagles the cat. you heard about a bird i know she was like what bird i'll get it i'll get it mom <laughs> okay are you ready Carly and Laura. Oh. You must still be friends after this. You've made it 16 years, so let's let's go. I don't know how we don't know how this is gonna go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only one way to find out how this is gonna go. Okay. <clears throat> Who is more organized? Uh, I'm gonna say like physical space, Carly, mental. Oh no! Oh, what a cliffhanger! Oh no! <laughs> Hello, Laura. Don't leave us hanging. The people need to know physical space. Or what was it? No! Oh my gosh! We're never gonna know. No, we're gonna know. We're gonna try and get them back. Stay with us, folks. This is the cliffhanger like none other. <laughs> Paging Fox Feather, please. You are wanted on stage right or stage left. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna beam them in. Beam them in, Scotty. Beam them in. Why is it always on Feel Good Friday? Why? Ah, that. Oh, oh, we found that was intense. We were like physical space, and then it was done. It just froze. You just froze, but you are back now. You're back. Okay. You're back. I see you. I see you. Okay. You are back. You're you're answering the computer. Finish the answer because we heard that Carly was more physical space organized, and then oh. nothing. Laura's more technically like like a, a technology, computer, emails, things organized. Great, excellent. Well, okay, you guys are being very like Bobsy one, Bobsy two for all these long like this. Yeah, I mean, this is okay. how our relationship has lasted for this long. We're very diplomatic. Yeah. <laughs> very accommodating. Well, you know. She's gonna be the one to organize the van. I'm gonna be the one to organize the tour. Yeah. Perfect. To like figure yeah. out where we're staying every night. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be like, I well, want to clean up all up. this gross the stuff. The oil is changed yeah. and the tires mm -hmm. are good and the car is clean. Okay. Yeah. She's gonna find us beds that are safe. That is a great dynamic, actually. I will say. Yeah. I will say. It works well. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Yeah. Who takes longer to get ready? Great. Concise. Who is the early riser? It can be neither. It can be the guitar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like having the guitar. Yeah, the guitar. Yeah. The guitar's in here. That's for neither. Who is the night owl? Uh, 
uh, I'm gonna say she is more. Quarantine has changed me. Yeah, I'll stay up all night. Pre-quarantine, let's say before, because that I think we're all night owls now. Like first we were going to bed at eleven, now we're going to bed at one in the morning. You know, it's it is what it is. I still for me. She's later. Yeah, yeah. I I, I yeah. stay. I can't. I yeah. I'll be up all night. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Who is the better cook? What's that? What was that? Who is the better cook? Laura. Great. And your husband doesn't count, Carly. Because he <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> why I'm not as good of a cook. Because Dum dumplings would I would too. I would just eat dumplings every day. Yeah. <laughs> Total side note, when I found out that you guys got married, I think it was at the winter walkabout, I was like, she gets dumplings for life. <laughs> and Jessica Carson was like, Yes. Yeah. Yes, she does. Yes, she yes, do. she does. All, so, the really. All the time. Yeah. All the time. All the dumplings. Um, who is funnier? Ooh, uh, the guitar. The guitar. <laughs> I mean, the guitar. we're, we're both, both so we're both funny. Really funny, but just in different. <laughs> you just pointed at me, and I'll point at you. Great. Great. Yeah. <laughs> um, who is the better driver? Driver. Driver, driver of a car. Claim yourself, Laura. You don't I want to play the car. To go like this. Okay. Very diplomatic. Very diplomatic indeed. Um, who is the better dancer? <laughs> the guitar. <laughs> the guitar. For sure. The yeah. guitar. <laughs> we all think we're good dancers, but I mean, if we're honest, the guitar. The guitar. <laughs> Great. Uh, who is more patient? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very, good. Very good. You're both good. Yeah. I like that instead of just going like this, it's like a double handed like, oh, like, 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 puppeteer motion. It's like this. Um, who is the messy one? Again, messy <laughs> if we're talking. <laughs> what is mess? Okay. If we're talking about the van. Like, are you the one that walks in and like you just like toss your stuff when you come in like you're a tosser yeah i am also a tosser that's why i knew the definition of messy mm -hmm. um who is the social butterfly but both oh both okay i mean you're so good at it no you have, you're good at you have it. so many more friends than me that's not true at all <laughs> Who is more stubborn? Great. How can you be you're patient and stubborn? Very good. She's stubborn and patient. I um, probably solve the like who's patient. But, yeah. You no, know, I'm very patient. <laughs> I'm just I also I'm also stubborn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll wait forever, but um I don't want to change what the plan. Good. Who is more sentimental? That's both of us. Yeah. Yeah. We're both, we're both uh, yeah. songwriters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're artists. Yeah. Everything yeah. means something. Yeah. So uh, who's the hoarder? There we go. Very good. That also comes in with stubborn. You're like, I will definitely use that Vuvuzela. Abs yes. Yeah, I don't even know what a bubuzela is, but I will figure out how She'll to use it. She'll figure it out of the way. And, yeah. I, and it'll be a great, cool thing. One time I found a um, a bag, a bat, like a duffel bag. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> yes. Well, now yeah, I just going, you have, have to finish, finish it. You have to finish it. just a bunch of socks well, like, that none of them matched. Well, but they were, well, what if I found might find them? I know. You, you keep them might. in case you find them. In match. case. I Everyone don't. always finds that missing sock sometimes. After they throw away the one oh, yeah. that it. <laughs> so you just keep it. I don't have that anymore. But I did have that, yeah. A duffel bag of mismatched socks. <laughs> I mean, if they're not bad yet, they don't have a hole in them. They're still good socks. You know you're going to find that other one like in your pillowcase from the dryer. Behind the dryer. That's Behind the go. dryer. And yeah. then you're going to be like, oh, I don't need to go spend $20. Five new socks. Where do you buy your socks? Well, like five. Okay, I was like, 
I need to show you Sam's Club. Like, <laughs> where are you buying socks? I buy them usually at like a, a Marshalls or something, you know, where the cute, colorful stuff. ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, who is better at sports? Definitely Carly. Carly. <laughs> Great. Um, who is better at roller? Yeah. <laughs> The guitar is so, I mean, look at that. Carly the guitar and then me. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Carly the guitar at, um, and your slipper and then you. <laughs> oh, I don't love it. Volleyball. Not the gift. Not the gift. Um, who is better at rollerblading? Oh, well, I don't have rollerblades, but roller skating. Roller skates. Carly um, better at roller skating. Uh -huh. Um, Man. Probably rollerblading too. Yeah. 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 Well, good, Carly. That was great. This was definitely after added after I watched the music video. I was like, well, yeah. we have to ask, how did that shoot go? Uh, For those who haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. Yeah. Um, come and get me music video. Highly entertaining. Um, <clears throat> who writes the lyrics to your music? Um, not mostly, mostly me. But that's, we co-write, so we bounce ideas and we have new, we, it's not a clear delineation. Mostly Carly, but it's collaborative. I like yeah. to think of myself as, a, as an editor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. she's a good sounding board and editor. Yeah. Perfect. Um, who writes the music? To the lyrics. Laura, Laura, for the most part. I mean, same kind of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. Laura has all those, all the, the basic, the not basic, but the chordal progressions to sort of the meat of the song. And then uh, the melody and the lyrics sort of come together through that work from me. Very collaborative, though. Collaborative. Yeah, very, yeah. It's all very collaborative. And the guitar. And the and guitar. The guitar, the guitar yeah. um, plays the drums. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, you guys are funny. You guys are funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, who asked to start a band together? Oh. Um, I mean, I want to say we both did. We, we started playing music in college, and we wrote, I came to you with that, a first song idea right after our freshman year. Mm -hmm. And then we were just sort of like, piddling around in it. But for Fox Feather, the band, I mean, I kind of think we came to it together. We were at a festival and we were like, we need to do this for real. And then we just did it. So I don't know. Um, but we've both been in other bands. Laura was in a, a awesome bar band back in the day. Um, I was in a <clears throat> bar band back in the day. <laughs> um, so it was yeah. always like a thing, like we, we played music for a long time together before we started Fox Feather. So it's sort of like a thing that we always knew and hoped that we would get to as like a more serious thing. But uh, so it's like, we always had it in the back of our minds. And then like, there's just like a, a time in our lives where we, it was mutual where we're like, yeah. this is, yeah, is it, is, is it this now? happening? Is this a real thing? <laughs> Starting a relationship in the 21st century, you're like, are we? Yeah. I think we're dating. Are do you yeah. think we're dating? Oh, we've been dating for six months. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we've been dating. What? For six months? Yeah. Do we make it Facebook official? Like, yeah. yeah. Do we make it Facebook official? status? Are you yeah. in a band with Carly? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's an album. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly yeah. how. That's pretty. Yeah. Band, bands are relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. are. 100%. Yeah. Um, who plays more instruments? Laura technically plays more instruments with a level of proficiency. <laughs> I mean, I would, but I, I also play around, I studied ethnomusicology in college, and so I play around on little, in, I, not little instruments, I play around a little on a bunch of instruments, but I wouldn't call myself proficient, and I rarely perform with an instrument that's not my voice. But you play, I would say we're kind of equal-ish. Yeah, but Laura is definitely more of an instrumentalist as far as um, 
skill level and proficiency in the instruments that you play. Right? Yeah. Like you play guitar sure. much better than me. You play piano much better than me. But I'm not saying I'm bad. I'm just saying yeah. you're really good at those. And I'm so we'll say we'll give it a yeah. even. Yeah. Because she has a couple of instruments that I, I don't play the didgeridoo. But yeah. she she has a didgeridoo. Yeah. Or the Native and American a, or flute. Or a Native American flute. Or the Vuela. Or a Vuela. Yeah. yeah. You don't have a Vuvuzela? Don't. She doesn't have a Vuela. <laughs> you could play the Vuela though, because it's basically a lot like a guitar. Um, it's just no. a couple. All the fans out there, you know, you can just get Carly a random instrument and she'll learn how to play it. Please do. For I'm those. Not play it for anyone but you, but um, if you've written one, I will play it for you. <laughs> I'm going to get you like a customized kazoo. Yeah, yeah. Or a hurdy gurdy. I've always wanted one of those. Those are awesome. Hurdy gurdy. What fun names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, who came up with the name Fox Feather? Megan. Megan O'Sullivan. Megan O'Sullivan. She's our buddy. That's not our guitar. That's, yeah, no. <laughs> I know. Like, is the guitar named? No. No. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's our good friend Megan. Um, she she's been one of our best friends since college. And when we were transitioning from the name of Carly E. Laura, and when we had that conversation of let's be a real band, um, we went through a bunch of different name ideas and nothing was sticking, nothing, nothing felt, felt, right. felt right. And so our friend Megan was like, well, Laura likes foxes and Carly likes owls and owls have feathers. So what about like fox feather or feather fox? And we were like, cool, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. And then we did it and now <laughs> and then, it's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Megan. Way to go, Megan. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, he's a rock star. Well, <laughs> you guys slayed that friendship quiz, and it was very entertaining. Any questions from the audience, adoring fans that need to know? The last thing I saw was living for the distance, long distance dance moves. That was the last comment. They loved it. They loved it so much. Um, okay, well, let's give away a gift card for one lucky person that has stuck with us today. Um, I know right now they are not able to have live shows, which is so sad for all of us. But um, I asked, you know, what was one of their favorite restaurant gigs to do in Longmont? And they said, Rosalie's Pizza. Picture on a Friday night, they'd be, you know, packed on the patio, front and back, you know, people on the bar stools waiting to get their hot pies and Fox Feather just jamming in that corner with like all of their people in way too close proximity, but we loved it. Mm -hmm. um, so Rosalie's has donated a $50 gift card for one lucky winner today, today, today. And uh, Laura and Carly are gonna help me. So for the first person with us right now that can comment their favorite Fox Feather song, you're gonna get $50 from Rosalie's. So hit me with those comments. Favorite Fox Feather song. Drum roll, drum roll. Come on, guitar, play the drums. Play the drums. Yeah. This is what you do. <laughs> you're a member of the band and you play guitar and you play the drums. Oh yeah, she me with your favorite Fox Feather song. Fifty dollars. That's not a Fox Feather song. Come on, Laura. Come on. No. Um. They said. We're watching. Sesame Street. Someone just said Sesame Street. That La Peter Peter Lassus. We do know him, but that's not a Fox that's Feather. Not, give me a song that Fox Feather um, played on their album. The Rules. The Rules. Very good. That's the new one, isn't it? That one just came out. The Rules. Who said that? I guess. That Peter. Oh. Peter. Yes. Peter. Yes. That's the Peter dance. Right. Sesame Street. Ridiculous. Very good. All right, Peter. Awesome. Thank you so much um, for showing your love of the rules and Fox Feather. Um, you will get $50 to Rosalie's Pizza for being killer and supporting local musicians as they have done for a very long time. Um, and I think that concludes our hangout with Fox Feather. 
Carly and Laura, thank you guys so much for joining us. You two are a blast. And thanks for helping us with that amazing jingle and just doing what you do in Longmont. So stay well and take care into future dates of witnessing you guys and the magic that you create um, live in the hopefully not so distant future. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, Longmont loves you. The chamber loves you. You guys are wonderful. And have a happy, good Friday. Thanks for making this feel good. Thank, oh, you, thank you so much. We love you guys. We love you so much. Happy feel good Friday. We love you guys. Dance, the dance. And they're out with the dance. I feel like I've got a continue it they were they were doing something like that um thank you guys so much for tuning in for the second official feel good friday we are doing these um in the honor of longmont spirit week something started by the longmont chamber um amid covid19 to just help support our local businesses um and the community here so i want to show you what we did earlier this week um with uh some credits so enjoy that thanks longmont Come and get me. Come and get me, I want to come home. Come and get me, I want to come. Well, this is awkward.